You missed the best part of that thread? That's the 16 months. <laughs> the funniest part about this is that like this dude literally frothing out of the mouth to go get like a fucking legal kill gets his legal kill and all these like edgy pathetic fucking weirdos on the internet are like I can't believe you're making fun of someone with real trauma. It's like, Sandy dude, suck my dick. The real trauma of what? Like, he reaped what he fucking sowed. And now he's not even, he's going to literally get away with it. And you still want people to, on top of that, be like kind to this fucking person? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, he was fucking fake crying. Okay, yeah, that's right. Not only was he fake crying, but the judge was a fucking right-wing psycho. Okay. And the prosecution sucked ass. So what? You're making fun of someone who suffers PTSD. Like, yeah, dude. I don't know. I mean, I, I make fun of fucking... Uh, uh, I make fun of plenty of people who are suffering from PTSD. Okay, I'm an asshole. So there you go. <laughs> That's right, bro. <laughs> Oh no, like sub now. the judge is a registered Democrat. Become dude, judge. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. When I say I'm not saying someone is a Republican when I say they're conservative, okay? Why is this? So is fucking so is Joe Manchin, asshole. Does that mean Joe Manchin is not conservative? Are you gonna sit here and be like Joe Manchin is not conservative? Like, like oh okay, he's a registered Democrat. Wasn't that a fucking literal meme about Tucker Carlson too? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, he's right wing. Yes, Democrats. Plenty of Democrats are right wing, conservative, reactionary. Okay, I didn't say he's a Republican. Joe Manchin is not conservative. Yeah, exactly. There are plenty of goddamn libtards that are both racist, reactionary, and conservative. Yeah. Okay, bro. Are you trying to catch you slipping? Yeah, I know. It's like, and that fucking idiot came, that came into my chat to say that idiotic thing, yeah, who like needs thinks this is like a good own or something, is like a fucking 12 month, 13 month subscriber. Like, what the fuck are you doing in this community for 13 months? You could have accidentally fucking seen what my worldview is about uh, libtards and shit. It, it, like, how are you in here for a year and you're like, oh, yeah, he's a registered Democrat. Fucking owned, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you really fucking got me, dude. You, you fucking own me super hard. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think it only creates divide and shows a lack of empathy to make fun of Rittenhouse for crying. He's stupid as fuck, but guilty as hell. But when I was 17, I had a pretty big, I was a pretty big piece of shit, too. If we believe in rehabilitation, we need to act like it. Bro, you do realize that rehabilitation starts with accountability, right? Like, months, Habibi, I hope her day was great smile. he killed people, dude. He, he wanted to kill people and he actually put himself in a situation where he could. And then he ended up doing it. And you're like, why don't you rehabilitate him before he's even like, he's not going to even fucking go to jail for it. And you're you, like, you're literally in here like, why don't you rehabilitate? I don't understand. A lot of us were 17. How many people did you kill when you were 17? <laughs> I even said that he's the right age for uh, rehab. Yeah, I, I, I said he's like the perfect case for rehabilitative, so uh, a rehabilitative approach to criminal justice. But like, even with rehabilitation, it, you have to start off with like accountability and accepting that you're accepting the wrongdoing. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Bro, this picture from before looked very BBL. You got that BBL Hassan energy? What? 
Sassy, 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 sassy. It's 17 to kill hundreds of people in Minecraft. What do you think about the mom? Should she face charges? Yo, throw the whole fucking family in jail, dude. Rittenhouse is just the new straw man for terminally online people to have discourse in the marketplace. Of ideas and most people with bad faith questions don't give a fuck and just want to argue. Yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse is the neo pronouns discourse for like people who are either in deeply in the right wing or people who are in the center right. Okay. It's just like people on people who are like super far left in the left love if they love to argue, they're going to bring up fucking neo pronouns. They're like, come on, let's have this conversation about neo pronouns right now. Like, let's do it. It's like, no. And people who are terminally online and like brain broken by fucking uh, debate lord culture that are in the right or center right. Months, let's go. Hassle. This is their guy. It's Zimmerman shit all over again. Yeah. So silly. <sighs> um, did you hear Sodi is buying a Porsche GT3? Good for him. Not a debater, but do you think he'll end up being convicted? Most likely not. Another month down. Um, because one, the defense fucking, he got excellent defense, best the money can buy. You raised like, didn't he raise like $2 million or some shit? Um, the judge basically fucking, the judge basically did everything he possibly nice. could uh, aside from being like, why are we here? Let's just fucking, I'm, I declare him innocent with my, uh, judge powers. <laughs> okay. Or was 17 because he's 17. You chatters understand he's trying to get away with it. It's almost like crying could be a panic attack from the possibility of facing consequences of his actions, right? Chatters. Or was 17 and white? Yeah, I mean, he is. He's 17 years old. Well, he's 18 now, but he was 17 and white and like a wannabe fucking cop. Where's that hat from? It's just, they even brought a journalist from Steve Bannon's network on as a witness and the judge allowed speculation. There was so much going on in that fucking case that is, is, is psychotic. Like, if judges were as aggressive towards the prosecution as this motherfucker was, like, there would literally be less black people in jail. I'm not even kidding. But of course, that kind of, that kind of protective attitude only comes... Uh, for uh, people that the judge uh, suspects could be their child. You know what I mean? This is the funniest tweet from that so far, which was... Uh, wait, I, didn't I retweet this? Can't find... Oh, the yeah. Uh, Jason Selvig says, the judge is like, Kyle Rittenhouse is like the racist son I oh, never had. <laughs> I love that. It's so funny. It, it's because it's true. Like, come on. But always wanted. Yeah. Prosecution was literally hard throwing though. They brought up Kyle playing COD in the past motive. Yeah, I know. They're fucking, they're terrible. I was literally arguing with the prosecutor about whether or not zooming over an iPad video would alter. Yeah, I mean, yes. When will you learn that boomers run the fucking planet and they are not exactly uh, super uh, technologically aware? They spent an hour today I debating distorted shoulders. pixels. Nice. The shampoo you should be using is head and shoulders. How are the kills not legal if he wasn't even legally allowed to carry a firearm? The kills are legal because it's the same as like um it's the same as like conservatives fantasizing about driving over a crowd of black lives matter protesters it's the same as conservatives dry uh fantasizing about like oh man i i fucking wish i had my gun on me it's uh so i could fucking stop these shoplifters like it's a very old tired conservative trope at this point 
which is getting Brown. a kill in the moment of self-defense, okay? But those laws also say your property, not someone else's. First of all, uh, you're wrong. There are plenty of fucking states where you all, the castle doctrine literally applies to wherever the fuck you are. It's called stand glory, your ground glory, laws. Man united. Glory, glory, man, united. Glory, and it, glory, it doesn't man, even united. matter, dude. As if you're like, that's what I'm on. saying. The, the problem with this uh, court case, the scary thing about this court case is that like, it's basically telling the rest of America, okay, that... If you are white, pre -pre and if you're a conservative, okay, if you're a white conservative kid, you can invoke the fucking uh, self-defense argument. And in a lot of instances, the narrative will fucking stick. You can violate numerous different laws in the process of doing so. And it'll be okay. And that's, uh, that's actually the fucking terrifying part of this in my opinion that's like the legitimately terrifying uh precedent that this says the, did not get murdered the kyle the rittenhouse the murder trial the accused killer took the stand in his and own like the fucking dude that he killed like the first dude especially that he killed is a is a dickhead okay he's a bad person so what you don't fucking know that when you're killing someone you know what i mean Who's getting the best head? And especially when you go into a fucking active conflict zone with an AR-15 that you're brandishing and you shoot someone, other dudes are going to think you're an active shooter and try to stop you from being an active shooter. So in that situation, it's me, brother, less than three. The really fucked up, uh, the really fucked up part of that situation is the secondary uh, kill, the second kill that he got. And the guy who got maimed, okay? It's like, those dudes were like, well, this is an active shooting situation. I'm going to be as brave as I possibly can and put myself in the fucking line of fire. Killing is okay if you end up lucky and killing a bad person. Yeah, exactly. That's like, the arguments that I've heard so, from so many people, or people being like, Have your, has your opinion changed now that you saw more evidence? It's like, oh boy. nah. Like, why the fuck would my opinion change considering that, like, Kyle Rittenhouse should not have been there. Like, I don't think that he should have been there at all. So, there is no, like, evidence that is going to turn around and get me to uh, somehow shift on my morals or on my fucking worldview that, like, no, it is actually okay for a 17-year-old or anyone for that matter to go to a fucking like active conflict area where there's protests happening with an AR-15 that you're just carrying around and start blasting motherfuckers after like uh, someone comes after you because they think you're a threat or whatever the fuck reason, okay? So if Kyle Rittenhouse had a fucking, uh, you know, piece that he carried on him, okay? He, and he's walking in his neighborhood and that fucking pedophile dude, okay? He attacks him and he shoots him you're not gonna, that's not a problem. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I can't believe he did this. Okay? So I don't know why people try to make it seem as though this was like clear and cut self-defense and that Kyle Rittenhouse was just simply protecting a, someone else's private property. Like, shut the fuck up. Okay? Good work, everyone. Like, he's just, there's no vigilante justice. And the reason for why it should be illegal, vigilantism should be illegal, is because... When you do vigilante shit, well, guess what? You don't know. Not every fucking dude you're going to murk is going to be a pedophile, okay? Or a, a convicted child molester, dumbass. The whole point, you can't do that. I get mad when cops do it. When cops are tr fucking trigger happy. And the people saying, imagine going to prison for someone else's business. He, he wasn't. He wasn't Let's there to like... Love you, Hassan Hassel. He wasn't there because he like legitimately wanted to protect someone else's business, dude. He was there because he wanted to, again, ha show off his cool toy, okay? And like possibly if he ever gets into a situation, like he'll fucking blast off, bro. And he did. He did blast unions off. Make us strong. Support your local unions. He's underage, lied to cops that he's an EMT, wasn't allowed to carry a firearm, broke curfew, also dressed without a license, he's trying to uphold the law. I mean, that's bullshit. Like, all that stuff is whatever.
hassle. Yeah, dude, I love I love protecting other people's businesses with my fucking AR-15. Like, get the fuck out of here. I hear about the legal kill often. I live with gun-owning conservatives. It's very real. The wet dream is to use your 9mm on an intruder and it be legally justified. Yeah. And this is an extension of the Castle Doctrine fantasy that, like, sicko conservatives the have. This Veterans Day is the memories of Navy life erased from my fucking brain. Okay. John Wilkes Booth, who has idolized theater since he was young, arrived at the Ford Theater with at least one mission, to catch a show from the balcony. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Cal Rittenhouse, who's idolized law enforcement since he was young, arrived in Kenosha with at least one mission, to play the role of a police officer and medic. The night would end up with him fatally shooting two men and wounding another. Yeah. Thank you, Hassan. You are amazing fashion. No, he was there to fucking, you know, blast on some fools, okay? That's what he was there for. That's it. He did what exactly a cop would do. Yeah. Do you believe the left should arm themselves considering the right Shit. will never give up their arms? Dude, I, no, I don't believe anyone should arm themselves, dude. This is what the fuck happens when you arm yourself. Okay? Uh, I have a gun for self-defense. My hope is that I never have to shoot it. I only shoot to make sure I can aim, and that's it. If you're fantasized by killing someone, you shouldn't own a gun. Yeah, literally. Thank you for your service, brother. I already told we this man, if we don't call, like I'm going to destroy the helicopter pad in his new you house. That's what Will's saying. To fight for our freedoms. Sorry about your L in Korea, but I'm sure you'll get a rematch. 11 months. Let's go, Primers. So why is it not clear-cut self-defense, uh, though? What do you mean, why is it not clear-cut self-defense? It doesn't matter. He put himself in a self-defense situation. That's the point. So he could, he could argue self-defense. That's what a legal kill is. I don't understand why people cannot comprehend this. Like, I, I, I don't know if people are like purposefully uh, doing this. Like, did you guys like, are you in the jury? Is that what happened? Are you in the jury pool? And you also were unable to see the additional context because the the uh, judge basically stopped the prosecution from showing any of that because y'all are acting like you have not seen the additional context. One year. Ajahn? Pogo. Like, America is such a fucking weird country, dude. We are such a weird-ass country that we act as though it's perfectly reasonable for a 17-year-old with an AR-15 to be walking around in public, let alone walking around That's in fine. public brandishing it to defend someone else's private property, supposedly, while simultaneously fucking, you know, fantasizing about killing people at a fucking protest. Any other country, you're like, no, you're going to jail. That's insane. Like, please, give me the gun. You can never own a gun ever again. You shouldn't even own that gun specifically. And you're also going to jail for at least like a year or two. You know what I mean? And we're going to rehabilitate you. Our jails look great because in other countries, at least like they are a little bit more... Uh, reasonable it's still jail it's still not great ultimately being able to defend yourself is so weird i agree fresh cow you are a pathetic fucking loser who is afraid of his own shadow you will never defend yourself with a weapon hopefully you don't have a weapon because cowards like you should never have a weapon you are a threat to yourself your children if you ever have children you probably won't because you are sexless and you will most likely never uh you will never have a child um and your family members so it doesn't really matter protecting yourself so
so weird being able to defend yourself. Stun locked. Oh, Thank you for Christ, all you do. Idiot. And so happy about the Lazy success. You rock. The service gets so mad when you tell them you live for X years, never being in a situation where you need a gun. Yeah. You making any fat man friendly merch? Bro, I'm doing Thanks. self defense, bro. I'm going to go do self defense. lip take machine today are you talking about me or are you talking about the dumbasses in my chat he's another theater kid without an outlet there's a reason the second amendment includes the regulated militia part even those that have their fair share of problems yeah in the United States of America we are so fucking far removed from any sort of like class consciousness and any sort of labor action that people have completely given up on themselves or their fellow uh, fellow uh, working class members, okay? And they are com they are pathologically obsessed with commodities uh, as a as a form of consumption, but also as the, as that commodity oh, consumption boy, basically fucking uh, turns into. Uh, that, that commodity consumption basically turns into their identity, okay? And that is precisely why people have this, like, weird cult-like attitude towards guns where they just, like, refuse to see it. Bro, read the sub tweet. Ha, ha, ha. What? What sub tweet? Was he brandishing? Fuck yeah, he was brandishing. What the fuck? But if no protest, no BLM, no nothing, no anything, this probably wouldn't happen. Not gonna lie. Yeah, dude, totally. People should not protest police brutality. You're totally correct on that. The Allen guy on Twitter? Who the fuck is Allen? Hassle. Anyway, the saddest thing about Rittenhouse trial is that in a justice system aimed towards rehabilitation, the 17-year-old could actually redeem himself. Instead, he will go to, into a prison where white supremacists will welcome him as a hero. He's not going to prison, bro. You're fucking nuts. You're nuts. There's no shot he's going to prison. I would be it's very so surprised if he goes to go. prison. This guy subtweeted me? Is that what you're saying? I don't get it. 16 months pog hall, so check out this comparison video. The comparison replies video of what's on the screen. Hassle. Trigger warning, I know it's too soon, but JWB broke a leg, aka Good Luck in Theater, and killed successfully Comedy Act on the same night. I know I said it too soon, but I did pro What? 16 months poggers. It's not a subtweet, dude. My guy, just look under the tweet you read. It's not even that funny. I don't understand. Like, okay. Definitive version. It's just a boring ass reply, you boring motherfuckers. God damn, dude. Okay, let's just watch this. Fence, at one point, breaking down as the judge paused the trial. I swear I to God. I swear to God, you dudes, like, some of you literally see someone else say something in the chat and immediately it's like, it's my duty as a chatter to, you know, repeat exactly what he said so that the streamer is informed. Nosha. Good morning, Alex. Free thinkers hey, in the morning, chat. Michael. It was a high stakes move by the defense. Rittenhouse was interrogated for hours. It's the first time the jury hears from him. An explosive day of testimony. Jurors Wednesday for the first time hearing directly from Kyle Rittenhouse about the night he shot and killed Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber and injured Gage Grosskreutz. You intended to kill, correct? 
I didn't intend to kill them. I intended to, I intended to stop the people who were attacking me. Then at this moment on the witness stand, the now 18-year-old sobbing, unable to talk as he described encountering Rosenbaum, who he says was chasing him. Mr. Rosenbaum was now running from my right side, um, and I was cornered from in front of me with... There's no evidence of him aiming his gun or threatening people, then unfortunately there's nothing to go off since gun laws are so relaxed. First of all, there is literally evidence of him 15 days prior looking at people that are like, I think, stealing from a CVS or something and going, if only I had my gun here, I could shoot them. So even from your point of view, there is like some prior evidence to show, uh, you know, some prior evidence to show his motive. Okay. Something, something small. Head Mr. Zeminski. And there dude, were he's so bad, dude. He's such a fucking pathetic little piece of shit. I can't wait for his George Zimmerman ass tour, dude. The judge calling for a break. Rittenhouse. Oh, by the way, that evidence was not allowed in court. Also telling the jury that Rosenbaum threatened him before the shooting. He scream if I catch any of you alone i'm going to kill you through testimony the defense the fuck are they gonna show some shit here or what isn't that video literally evidence of first degree murder uh nah. yo fuck the shit it's done for at this point the rb trial might be more educational to talk about Shout out to the judge for making everyone applaud for the defense witness. <laughs> this is pretty funny. This video is pretty funny. Look, look at this. Um, uh, and then um, oh, I wanted to just observe that it's Veterans Day. And uh, any veterans on the road, on the jury, or anywhere else? Well, I, that's unusual not to have at least somebody in here. But oh, Dr. Uh, Black is... Uh, uh, what branch? Okay, and uh, I think we give a round of applause to the people who served our country. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah, uh, registered Democrat. He's a registered Democrat, dude. What the fuck? That's insanity, dude. He's like the defense is a uh, witness. Uh, what a brilliant guy. Fucking super hot too, by the way. Just want to say. This guy seems like an honest broker, okay? Wait, I like this one better. Quick fucking round of applause for the, uh, for the witness. America is so deranged. Oh, yeah, it fucking straight up is. Um... Have you seen the Wait, oh, this was what I was going to show you. This week at the Kyle Rittenhouse trial, Judge Schroeder told court to applaud a defense witness for being a veteran, rejected video of Rittenhouse shooting victim claiming Zoom may distort image, forgot to silence his phone, song used at Trump rallies, played as his ringtone. <laughs> like, registered Democrat, dude! He's a registered Democrat! The fuck? Like, you can be a registered Democrat and be a fucking conservative shitlord, by the way. What if... No protest, no BLM, no nothing, no anything? This probably wouldn't happen? Yeah, what if, like... You know, human beings did not decide to form societal formations and never actually move beyond hunter-gatherer? Six months, uh, lifestyles chat people, or hey. what if a cop didn't fucking murder another black person in broad daylight uh basically creating a a, a, a international movement you know there's a lot of what ifs kind of stupid what? i said if nothing happened not doing nothing to police brutality what I don't understand what, what kind of relevance this has like in the conversation.
Please stop fucking spamming the chat. Jesus Christ. Bye. Huh. What if Hassan didn't hate America? Yeah, what? nothing would change. My parents are registered Republicans just so they can vote in the primary. Registering means nothing. Uh, judge be like, I've seen his cock. It's enormous. What a man. 10 months. Must resist Brian Rott. The actions that I had talked about. Dude, he starts smiling, dude. He's like, oh my god. The defense attorney literally is like, come on, dude. 50 better. <laughs> I'm proud to be an American. Where at least I know I'm free. I love that they're like... They're, they're trying to, like, liberals are so fucking stupid, Hell too. Yeah. They have to be like, this is something that people played at Trump rallies. Motherfucker, it's like a very classic, it's a classic fucking hog anthem. Like, you don't have to, like, you don't have to just, like, point everything back to Trump, guys, okay? Liberals, read a different book than Harry Potter Challenge. Liberals, you don't have to Seven literally link to every passing. fucking instance of conservatism back to Donald Trump, Okay. It's so stupid. Yeah. It's BLM's fault. Kyle Rittenhouse shot someone, literally placing the blame on everyone but the kid on the trigger. Yeah, exactly. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Unless that person is a, a conservative who, like, wanted to get one of those, like, classic fucking, you know, self-defense kills out. And uh, ended up doing so. In which case, it's actually not the kid's fault. It might be the gun's fault. Or maybe not the gun's fault, but like definitely the fault of the protests. And definitely the fault of just like everything else that was going on. It was a chaotic situation. He's literally a neurodivergent minor. So uh, what the fuck? Get off his case. Stop making fun of him for crying. I would cry too. You would cry as well. I actually cried when I thought about the testimony a little bit. CRT was at fault. Vaccines are at fault. It's everyone's fault, but his. Seven months since reverting to being a leftist. Whoa. Anyway. Uh, should America go to war with Russia for Ukraine? No. The oh, fuck? Remember, like, people were just like, they had Molotov cocktails they were throwing at the fucking kid, shit like that. It's like, they threw everything at this goddamn thing. Anyway. Let's keep going. And it's painting a picture of a young man who had been cleaning graffiti and wanted to offer medical help to those injured during yeah. the protest. Yeah, he wanted to offer med medical help to those injured at a protest with his AR-15. Everybody knows that uh, due to recent one. lobbying efforts by the NRA, you now have to act like an AR-15 is actually a medical tool. Okay? Sorry. Sorry, libtards. What, you think that you can't patch up fucking wounds with a bullet? Those are healing bullets, okay? Yes, that followed the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Um, they don't, sh I hope they don't show anything TOS. Oh, they show a little bit. But in cross-examination, the prosecutor pressing Rittenhouse on his decision to go to Kenosha in the first place and why he showed up with an AR-15. Why do you need the gun when you go out there? Um, I, I need the gun because if I had to protect myself because somebody attacked me. And playing this video in court. Attempting to <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm a certified EMT. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. To dismantle Rittenhouse's argument that he was in Kenosha that night to offer medical help. You're not a certified EMT. You're not an EMT of any kind. You weren't on that night, correct? Yes. So you lied to him, correct? I told him I was I told him I was an EMT, but I wasn't. 
At another point, the trial abruptly paused. The jury be like, what's your point? Doesn't matter. What if he, what he, he's a neurodivergent minor? Uh, okay. Uh, judge be like, uh, sorry, but, uh, sorry, prosecutor, but like, actually, uh, he's literally a minor and uh, that doesn't even mean anything. We, the jury has to feel like he's an EMT to understand what Kyle was thinking in that moment. Kyle thought he was an EMT because he shifted into being an EMT. Okay. You guys don't understand this. I watch a lot of TikTok, okay? And these Zoomers, they shift. So uh, this one shifted and uh, identified as an ENT in the shift. So technically he was an EMT. Let the record show that the jury has to believe, just like Kyle did, that he's an EMT. Certified EMT. Jurors walked out. Out the judge furious after the prosecutor seemed to allude to evidence the judge previously ruled was inadmissible. You know very well that an attorney can't go into these types of areas when the judge has already ruled. When court resumed, a prosecutor's playing videos of Rittenhouse at the protest and attacking his claim he shot Rosenbaum in self-defense. Joseph Rosenbaum. Hold on, let's see if there's more of it. Yeah, there's a little bit more of it in a second. Sussy, 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 sussy. Hey, I love you, but please stop using that neurodivergent and a minor meme. It stigmatizes neurodivergence deeply. Trust me, we don't claim Kyle Rittenhouse. He's not actually oh, neurodivergent. The what the fuck are you talking about? Class. He's not even a boom, fucking boom, minor class. anymore. I'm so cool. It's, it's called cool. a joke, Your okay? Boom. Clap. It's called a joke. You go, ha ha, ha ha ha, when you hear it. God damn, dude. It's already a fucking a disgusting situation. Let's like, God damn. Never touched you in any way during that incident, correct? He touched my gun. He didn't touch your body in any way, did, well, did he? No. Wrong. And Except dissecting this and video where Rittenhouse stuff. shot Grosskreutz, who was also armed, but didn't fire. He's got a pistol not aimed at you. You've got an AR-15 aimed at him. Why is he more of a threat to you than you are to him? Because he was, he was moving at me with a gun in his hand. And the defense also filed... Wait, I don't understand. He was a... Well, that guy also was using his gun to heal you. He saw you on the ground, and he was using his healing gun. I, I don't understand. If you were there as an EMT to heal people with your gun, then the guy was trying to do a melee gun heal. Uh, I don't understand that. I love that, like, the idea is, well, he was moving at me with a gun. Oh, so you do admit that it's, like, threatening to uh, have a gun uh, and 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 walk around with it. That's that's Chat what you just said. Today. Okay, Looking so I, I guess like Chat I guess we're on the same page up. there. Okay, Let's got it. The classic melee gun heel. Do you think whether the jury subscribed to you with Amazon Prime in order to? Skip the top of the hour ad break will sway the opinion of their trial. I mean, that was, I shouldn't have read that. The defense that it was a threat if someone Still got the gun from him since it's a weapon. That's hilarious. Stream anymore. It's like when America says we can't have any other country have nukes. They will be irresponsible with them. And it's like America, you're the only country that has actually fucking used nuclear weapons on another country. In this court case, Kyle Rittenhouse is the one who actually used his weapon irresponsibly. Um, well, I guess not according to them. Uh. <laughs> so, the fuck do you mean? Someone else would have been able to use it irresponsibly.